for watching us last week we talked about Syria here uh, Syria crops here in the northern region and our focus was on soya bean even though we had the yellow and white maize and also Ghana rice we still have with us the overall national best farmer crowned last year Al had Mashid who is still taking us through farming practices climate change bushfire marketing everything that you need to know about farming here in the northern zone so we are going to continue from where we left off last week so this is the part two if you are joining us and you didn't miss uh you didn't watch last week just go on our youtube channel the part one is there this is the part two so stay with us for an insightful 30 minutes and we will continue uh with what we ended last week thank you so much i'm going for a quick bit that when i come back we'll continue the conversation stay tuned <music> Thanks for staying with us. You are still watching The Ghanaian Farmer. And my name is Anyon. I'm seated next to me as my guest, Alhaji Mashud. He is the group CEO for Kujo Abimash Farms here in the northern region, precisely Tamale. And this is one of his warehouse that takes about 24,000 or over 24,000 bags of different cereals here. And you can see them lined up right here. Now, Alhaji. Yes. Let's talk about the different regions we have. We yes. have close to 16 regions, regions. or 16 regions East, in Ghana. Ghana the right. Eastern, the Volta region, the OT region and all that. What is the difference within regions compared to ha being a farmer in northern wow. region? Yes, you know, in, in the northern, in the other regions, mm -hmm. especially the southern sector, uh -huh. we have two seasons. Okay. The major and minor mm -hmm. season as it has been described. Mm -hmm. But in the northern region, we have only one season, where our seasons begins from March okay. to somewhere October, okay. where we have rains, uh -huh. which we describe as rainy season, okay. and then from October to March again, we are in the dry season, as you can see. So, so we do the only two seasons do not apply here. No, no, the two seasons do not apply here. I see. We have one continuous. Season, season. That of is rain from March to from October. March to October. Oh. We have rains, and from October to March again, mm -hmm. no rains. Okay, I uh -huh. see. so it's just free. Mm. So, for instance, you we don't do two types farming like what is happening in the, in the other part of and the, the and the other parts of the okay. of the country. Okay. Uh -huh. So, for instance, we know from March mm -hmm. or we, from this time. Mm -hmm. We are doing land preparation. Okay. We are doing stomping. Okay. Uh, the stomping here means we are removing bigger trees from, from our the, farms okay. to clear for mm. uh, farmlands. Mm. Then around March uh, to April, we'll start tilling. Okay. We'll start plowing mm -hmm. and then harrowing and leveling. Mm. Then from June to J July, mm -hmm. we we'll start planting. planting. And so around May to June, uh -huh. we do... Uh, granuts okay. and from June to then we then start with rice, soya bean, maize and other cereals. I see. Uh -huh. So it's not all crops that are grown let's say in the eastern region that can be planted here? No, no, no. no. For instance, tree crops uh, perform poorly here Okay. because of our, our crops weather. such as? Such as, uh, maybe you can plant cocoa here. Okay. Uh, uh, this then, uh, cashew when you plant the time of flowering, the weather is so harsh uh, to a point that all the flowers will, will, will shed off. Interesting. Uh -huh. So basically, our strength is on the cereals and more. more. And yeah, livestock. And livestock, okay. exactly. Uh -huh. So, okay. and what we do, uh, uh, we have a system of farming we call integrated farming, okay. which can strive very well within the northern region. region. For instance, I have a, a small fish pond, mm. which I use as integrated farming. Mm. From the fish farm, I do some small vegetables mm. for the market again. And so those things. And then our livestock, mm. we use the livestock, the droppings from livestock mm. for organic mm. 
production of mm. some of the, the cereals, cereals and other things. Is there yeah. anything you are not doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, we, if you look at, uh, and again, uh -huh. what I, I will say again, not already is very vast and flat. Mm. We can get uh, uh, 2,000, 3,000 acres contiguous mm. without breaking them. Mm. Uh -huh. And then, uh, what, what is happening again is that acquisition of land in okay. the north Sometimes it's a bit easier. I than, see. Yes, it's a but bit I'm easier. But I'm told all this alleged yeah. that in the northern region, especially, yeah. Yeah. women do not have access to their own lands as compared to the men. How true? Even that? men don't have their own lands. You understand? The chiefs are the main custodians of the lands. Okay. You only go to the chief, borrow from him. But the issue is that in the northern region, uh -huh. you see, a woman does not have uh, the capacity. Uh -huh to go and acquire big land. Okay. So maybe the husband will, like my, my wife is a farmer. Okay. She can have five acres within what I am also doing. Mm. And it's just for her. Okay. It's not for me. Okay. You understand? Okay. <laughs> so it's not anything, uh, something like people say, you know, women don't have access. The reality is that okay. our culture, mm -hmm. our culture mm -hmm. does not allow the woman to move straight to the chief. Mm -hmm. Even if a woman needs something, mm -hmm. If my wife needs something, mm. she will tell me that, oh, why don't you approach the chief and then we'll get this. Okay. You understand? All right. <laughs> so, even though mm -hmm. you can approach the chief mm -hmm. as a woman, mm -hmm. but it is not in as for you, maybe even a, someone like me, mm -hmm. uh, at least I'm a bit groomed. Okay. But before the yana, mm -hmm. if the yana doesn't permit me to talk, I don't have to talk. Okay. It's just like maybe sitting before... As Santi Hino or yes. Chihino or any other bigger chief, yes. then I'll just come there and start talking. It's not done. No, it's not done. Okay. And so, at least it is because of that. Maybe someone just seeing that mm. thinks that oh, in the northern region we say women should not. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not like that. If the woman approaches the chief, mm. and say oh, we want to because for instance, I have some particular women okay. in uh, Nyolgu, mm -hmm. in the Nantong district. Mm. They have their own land. They over 200, farming. Uh, over okay. 200 acres. Right. When, when I went and told them, mobilized them, told them that I wanted to support them to do farming. And they said, okay, mm -hmm. but land, how can we get it? I told them that I'll, I'll lead it. Mm -hmm. So I led them to the chief, told them that, oh, this is my intention. I've come to your people. I sent the bulldozer there, mm -hmm. stormed the land, mobilized the women, and then we did so many work. Okay, <laughs> okay. all right. Chief, I want to ask about access to credit, access to funding. funding yes. It's one of the main challenges of farmers in this country. Yes. Comparing or considering what you do, you have huge sizes of different farms. How do you go about pre-financing all this work year mm. on? Uh, the, the, that's, that's one funny thing. Banks don't even believe in what we're doing. Really? So they don't want to. <laughs> but we have a dedicated <laughs> bank in this country for farmers. agricultural development. Of bank. course, of, uh, that's my main bank. But okay. unfortunately, they don't let to, they don't let to, to to crop farmers. How come? And uh, the issue is this: Is it that banks do not understand the farming mm, practice no, is in it, the country? No, uh, farming is a high high risk, risk. area. Okay. So for instance, you can plant maybe a thousand acres, mm. and then little mistake. Or little drought, you are off. Yes. You are off. And mostly what we depend on, mm. especially here, is rainfall. So you don't know what God has designed this year. Possibly we've gone to the bank to pick maybe say one million Ghana cities mm. as loan. In the middle, there's drought. Mm -hmm. You are off. Mm. As a farmer, you can't pay again. So I believe, so I learned some time back, they were learning to crop farmers. But along the line, they saw that the defaults were so much. Were too much, so they've withheld. So they withheld. But there is an insurance company. Yes. I've encountered them before. Yes. For farmers. Yes. Do you deal with them? Have you yes. insured your Yes, we, we've insured with them uh, twice. Okay. But all those things, still, they're still, they're, it's not all that straight. What do you mean? <laughs> they are not effective? No, they, they are, are not Well, I can't just discredit someone's 
business act. Were they are, supposed uh, to pay a claim that they haven't? Uh, no, paid no, 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 no. I have never encountered anything like that. Okay. Like I told you, of, uh -huh. you know, I told you, uh, being uh, very fortunately for 15 years now, I have never suffered anything like bushfire, post harvest, post harvest. Flood, no, 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 no okay. not even flood. Right. I've never. Okay. Uh, so to some extent, I'm okay. okay. I'm happy with the way my operations are going. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in even picking a bank loan, mm. of which I believe mm. if I approach mm. my bank, mm. they will. Mm. They will lend me some money but to do it. No, I'm comfortable. And the thing is that mm. what is happening is that uh, Ghana, we are very fortunate okay. to have some companies <laughs> right. who are ready okay. to even give you inputs on credit. For instance, like I said, AMG. Uh -huh. ETG, Yara Fertilizer. You've been working with them for I've been working with time. them. And then that uh, working relationship which was you've created. your credibility. <laughs> All right. So our part two interview is still on with Chief Mashud. And he is telling us a lot more that you need to know about farming practices here in the northern sector. You know, I have always thought the two seasons, the minor and major season, cut across. But today on the Ghanaian Farmer, we have learned that it is just one season here in the north. Between March to October, that is the season they have. So as it stands now, land preparation, everything is ongoing. Around March, when the rain starts, they start growing their first crop, which is the granite, and then they move to their cereals afterwards. So if you are planning to acquire a land here, you should understand the system before coming here. You don't understand your crop. It's the region, and I call water. I'm going for a quick bit. I'll be right back after this. <laughs> Back and thanks for staying here watching the Ghanaian farmer. This program is proudly supported by Lizzie Tomato Mix and Leave Tomato Mix. If you're a woman or you are even a gentleman out there in the market shopping, groceries and anything for the home, especially when it has to do with cooking, you don't want to miss buying Lizzie or Leave Tomato Mix. It contains a lot of vitamins and it's good. It enriches the meal for the kids to consume in the house. So that is what I use every time in my kitchen remember to subscribe to our youtube channel the Ghanaian farmer we on facebook instagram LinkedIn, the Ghanaian farmer follow me on my personal handle Enyona Manye. Chief, chief what are know. some of the challenges that you have faced first of all how many years have you been into farming oh for uh 20 if i'm counting 2022 20, edition that's 16 years 16 years yeah, that's 16 years what has been your worst experience and what has been your greatest Successful movement as a farmer. And the uh, biggest, like we've mentioned it already, mm. funding, okay. especially when you are starting, mm. it's not easy. Mm. Because for you to, because farming is, is capital intensive. Yes. A little mistake you are off. Mm. A little mistake you are off. Okay. You can, you yeah. lose everything. Okay. So funding has been a, a very big challenge. Okay. Mechanization is another. Mm -hmm. If you look at things critically, mm. even though government is doing very well, mm. but we still need more. Okay. Because if you look at uh, the time of plant, mm. plowing, mm. You, people will be chasing tractors here and there. Mm. For instance, if it is time for plowing or land preparation and you come here in the morning, you'll be sad. They come to hire you. Yeah, they'll tractor. come just pleading. Okay. How for you to learn yeah, to, your to, to, to go and okay. rent services for a fee, okay. but they are pleading self. Ah. You understand? So, mechanization has been a very big challenge. Okay. 
and again, modern equipment, mm. access to modern equipment. Mm -hmm. For instance, we are talking of conservation agriculture, mm -hmm. which would have been very good for agricultural practices mm. in, uh, in, in the country, not in the northern mm. but in the country. Mm. Unfortunately, how many do we have? We don't, you, virtually we have zero. Really? Yes, modern equipment. We have, virtually we have zero. Because I'll tell you, the, comparing the number of farmers to what is, what is there is point zero 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 something. So it's virtually, but thank God we are coming gradually, catching, gradually up. catching up. Okay. Uh, because uh, for maybe the past four years or mm -hmm. five years, mm -hmm. you could not get multi-crop mm. combined harvester yeah. in the country. Mm. But thank God, currently we have some, and we have even procured some. We have about uh, we have uh, at Kujuabi Match Farm, we have about. Five or six mm. multi crop combined uh, so, you know, it, uh, <laughs> so it means we are coming up a bit, mm. uh, but other mulches, so many things, there still are still need more. more. That so, you for you mm. as a private farmer mm -hmm. to even import it into the country, it's not easy, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. Uh, because well, a combine you get it not less than $120,000. Wow, so. The investment is quite huge. huge. But are you uh, open for partnership? Are you open for investors? That's yeah, one thing that every yeah. time I ask farmers, mm, yeah, you're ready. Uh, but no, when the investors but, come around, <laughs> and, uh, 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 well, I would not say I am open because why? You see, I've, we've grown slowly from four acres to where we are today. Okay. So we think, you even though. Too far. Yes. We have, we have done well, okay. and then we we don't think we need to 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 bite more than what we can chew. Okay. You know, like uh, farming is very is a very complex mm. uh, enterprise, mm. so you don't need to open too much, and then finally you have a lot of problems. Okay. Uh, so uh, we are int uh, we are we are interested in other areas mm. possibly. Mm. Maybe for instance, if you are a buyer. Mm -hmm. Or if you tell us that, oh, you produce more, we'll buy. Okay. For instance, let, let's say maybe uh, Guinness Ghana mm -hmm. approaches and tell us, that, okay, can you produce sugar for us? Right. Can you pro produce sugar for yeah. us? And they'll say yes. So we produce, at least they become our partners, yes. but not we okay. picking anything from okay. them to do our investment. All no, right. we, all we, right. are, we, are, all we are not all that interested Okay, in that. so what has been your greatest yeah. moment? Is it that the, the last year for you? Oh, no, 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 no. Last year wasn't. Uh, even though I was so happy, um, so, but you see, my happy, I drive my happiness from when I, someone comes to me and tell me that, oh, Alain Mashud, your support has made me feed my family the whole year. Ah. I become so that is, happy. That is what Yeah, gets and you uh, almost every day, mm. you hear I that. Hear that. So Congratulations, I'm so happy. God bless you. <laughs> the bags you have here, what are the sizes? What kilos do we have? With soya bean, it's 100 kilos. Rice is 84 kilos. Do and you sell in that kilo? Yeah, we sell in those kilos. So how much is a soya bean bag? Soya bean bag, as we speak now, is 400 Ghana cities per, per, per 100 kilos. Okay. So we we'll say one kilo uh -huh. is four cities. And the Ghana rice? Ghana rice, we have uh, 140 Ghana cities. So we have 1.4 Ghana cities per kilo. And then my dear yellow uh, yellow, maize. yellow yellow maize uh -huh. is three, three, three cities per kilo. Okay. And then uh, yellow maize. It's 3.4 Ghana cities per. Uh, 340 cities. 340 per Ghana the cities per the bag. Okay. But then, quick one. Uh, this is very funny. Yeah. The yellow maize, did you add color? No, we or don't add. No, 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 that's the natural color. That's the natural color. And you know one funny thing? Mm -hmm. Yellow maize is even very good for human consumption than even white maize. Okay. Yeah, possibly. Maybe when you try mm -hmm. uh, using it for akule or mm -hmm. kinky, mm -hmm. you even like it more than the the, 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 the white maize. I see. Yes. Oh, well, when you use this one to feed poultry, uh -huh. the eggs, uh -huh. even broiler, uh -huh. the meat, the cholesterol level is even low. I see. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right, Chief, it's been an interesting one hour with you, and we are so much grateful for the education that you've given out to uh, our viewers out there. What would, what would be your last words? What would be that message that you want to give out to an aspiring young farmer or a Ghanaian who is living abroad 
and considering to come and invest in agriculture, what would you say? Yeah, my uh, advice would just be that mm. you see, farming is for the elites, okay. not the illiterates. Mm. As so many people may think, you should, as a farmer, be very educated. Mm. Because whatever we are doing as farmers is scientific. Mm. And you should be educated. Mm. We shouldn't leave it to the illiterates. Mm. Even though the illiterates has so much knowledge where we, mm -hmm. the illiterates, can tap from. Mm. But farming should not be seen as if you don't have any other thing to do. Then you, then you, won't go, do farming. you go and do farming. That's a wrong, no, farming wrong should not be idea. And then mm -hmm. farming needs young people mm. like us. Mm. Who can still even ride motorbikes mm. for long distances okay. to work and to work for some time, mm. whereby you can build a very good legacy mm. and hand it over to the next generation. Mm. So farming should not be left to mm. the aged. Mm. Farming should not be left for mm. the illiterates mm. or people who think they have they don't have anything to do. So my last resort is mm. farming. Farming mm. should not be perceived as mm. such, mm. and farming should not be perceived as punishment. Ah. <laughs> Indeed, yes. farming cannot be considered as punishment. How many workers do you say you have again? I have 51 permanent workers who receive salary every month. Uh -huh. And then over 1,000 workers who are casual workers. Wow, that's a lot. Yes. How are you able to supervise all these people? That's why I said I have managers. <laughs> 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 oh my god indeed <laughs> i see yes managers are doing the wonders for me right yes right. Uh, and in terms of uh land or uh fill practices mm -hmm. we are fully mechanized okay from planting uh -huh. to weed control mm -hmm. to harvesting mm -hmm. everything is mechanized mm. which which form of technology are you applying to what you do aside yeah. there mechanized uh, equipment that you're using? Yeah, what? Uh, we are still building that infrastructure. Okay. You see, we want, we're thinking of uh, even bringing an automated tractor mm -hmm. to try mm -hmm. and then other uh, surveillance. Mm -hmm. And then we are, uh, I believe in the next two or three weeks, mm -hmm. I'll, 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 I'm bringing drones from China. Okay. Yes, to, <laughs> to start. You uh, see, if I want to continue <laughs> with this man, I will not finish here and move to the cattle. So you know what? Let me wrap it up here, yes. okay? But if you have more questions, here's my personal personal. You see, I'm hanging out with the big boys. <laughs> so just, just get in touch with the Ghanaian farmer. And if there's any question I didn't ask, just let me know and I'll speak with Chief. If he gives me the answer, I'll post it on Facebook, but there was one thing he said that caught my attention. Farming should not be considered as punishment. It is never. It is business. It is a money-making business. You want to consider that. My name is Anyinam. Until then, see you next time.